talk really fast because I know my camera's going to give out. But I wanted to show you this. used to be a Parkland movie there over here. And over here is where I went to counseling with my ex um, where he always throws in my face because I quit because they let him um, domestic violence me and they taped it. It's somewhere in an archive. Um, this is 121st Street, which they built a Walgreen, I guess, in place of the movie theater to say that they were going to wall me um, so I would never be a director. And up the street, um, I'll show you, is my girlfriend, Nikki, who uh, was foster, and her mom um, had adopted her um, when she was little. And we used to hang, and she used to get me in on the gate um, for meals and help me with you know, finding out about the scam with the military and how they were screwing the young girls and the 15 year olds. Um, so she, me and her go way back. Um, but, anyways, my thing's about to give out. But I wanted to tell you that this is where I also took the movie with Audrey, and I got lost out here and left in the movie theater. And the movie ended at 12, and I had to catch the bus and caught the last bus out of here, and some nice bus driver picked me up right here and took me all the way to um, Pacific over um, by McKinley over by Stanley and Seifert's. And I almost had to walk home. I walked all around here and was in, scared to death. I was couldn't find my way. And I was uh, uh, lost. And I still remember, because um, I didn't even know Parkland area back then, and it was totally foreign to me. Um, and we, we found this bus, and I was just crying and begging out for God to help me, which is also down the street where another bus had picked me up where my car um, broke down on Faith Street. So just to let you know how all this stuff is connected, the elites always plan, pre-plan everything of your life. So they were saying if I didn't go to counseling and lick my exes, but I was going to be on Wall Street, I was never going to be able to be a director or work in the movies and my mom the white mom like her the foster she was going to disown me and um i later it was i guess a, a heads up um about that and then the bus ride was just showing me how i was going to be riding the bus and lost and how i wouldn't be able to find my way and that um i was going to be dropped off on pack you know packing um they're going to pack and shoot me and stuff so it's all part of the cold talk of the um, but this is where, and also Wells Fargo down the street, which is another story, so that's, you know, how they block you. They set you up and sabotage you. But I remember walking down the street, and I dated this guy named By Byron Island, and he uh, was in the military, and he came and visited us. It kind of gives me flashbacks a little bit. I was so in love with him, but he loved this white girl, and he picked her over me because she had a car, and she had more money. But this is where she used to live, Nicole, and um, I had caught up with her on Facebook, but she has like five kids, but I remember her brothers used to live in that house above the garage, and they were kind of racist, but her mom was never home, and no one was ever there for her, I remember, um, so I guess that's their way of saying that's going to happen to me.